on the last episode of Dongan Ropa 2 Goodbye to Spear. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure we find your killer, Nakamaru. Today's case The Ultimate Weapon. Hey guys, and we are back with more Donald Rebel 2 Goodbye to Spare. And Hajime pretty much confirmed that what I was saying about this tower ever since Nagito dropped that beautiful nugget of a hint off. It made me start to think, like, maybe this is an elevator. And true enough, it seems like it was an elevator. So uh, let's get it. What? Are you saying Nekomaru's body was transported using an elevator? Where the hell is this elevator anyway? The tower. It's the tower itself. Yep. Thank you, Nagito. The inside of the tower is one big elevator. Which means the tower was designed so that the whole room goes up and down like an elevator. So whether you enter from Strawberry Hall or Grape Hall, it all leads to the same room, right? So that's why we could only enter it from under the other. Now that you mention it, sometimes when I pressed the door button, it took a while for it to open. I see. We were basically waiting for the room to arrive, just like an elevator. Hey. Please hold on. Hey. If the inside hey. of the whole tower hey. ascends and descends like an elevator... Then why is there a picture of a strawberry on the far back door when you enter from Grape Tower? And a picture of a grape on the far back door when you enter from Strawberry Tower? If the room just moves up and down like an elevator, there's no reason for the doors to change. Plus, after the incident, the far back door and Grape Tower had chains wrapped around it, right? But when we entered Strawberry Tower, those chains were gone. Not just that, but if I remember correctly, even the doorknob was broken off. And it's funny because I think that's the doorknob that uh, Nekamaru was yanking out. You know what I mean? He was either one of those. Because I remember he was yanking on one of those. <laughs> there are too many strange things. Was that tower really an elevator? Okay. The fact that he seems to be denying it, I feel like it's even more proof that it's him. When you see people and things, make sure you focus on the good parts instead of the bad. What did you say? So, you know what the fuck she said. Decide what's changed and focus our attention on what hasn't. Why do we have to do that? It's fine. Come on. What does everything that hasn't changed have in common? Things that did change when we moved between the two towers. <laughs> That includes the body, the pillar, and the wall. We've been talking about this stuff for a while. There should be... There shouldn't be anything strange about them. Not even the fact that they all moved with the elevator. The one thing that these all have in common... They were all Nekomaru's parts. They were all huge. They were all heavy. They were on the floor. Because remember they said something about the oil. And the oil isn't heavy, the oil isn't huge. I mean, it was part of Nagamara, but it was on the floor. Right? <laughs> I see. Is it safe to say that all the items on the floor didn't change? And? Hmm? And? That's what I'm saying, and? Why did the picture on the far back door change? If you can figure that out, you'll have the answer. The reason is because... That elevator has something unique about it. Damn, Chucky, you There's something unique about the elevator. You only enter one side at a time. There's no ceiling. I mean, we couldn't see it, but... Only the floor moves? You know what's weird? Because in that little diagram, it looked like that was just the floor. That was weird. But I feel like it's only the floor. 
I see! So that's it. The elevator was designed so only the floor moved. Wow! Only the floor moved? That's, that's kind of weird. It's like... Which means oh, that the floor you see that? Only the floor was. The diagram is different, you see that? That's why we saw Damn. different doors in each tower. Which means on the first floor of Grape Tower, the door on the far back wall had a strawberry design. And on the fourth floor, which was Strawberry Tower, a different door on the far back wall had a grape design. Then, where do the different floors lead? I want to say they lead outside, but they're probably just for show. Just for show? Why was something like that necessary? So we'd falsely believe that the doors were connected to where their picture signified. It was actually very effective. Because of that, we totally misunderstood the building's structure. I don't get it. But I guess it means whoever designed this building had a totally twisted personality. Did you hear that, Monami? Don't bring this on me. Take responsibility for yourself. Then I'll take responsibility and gently caress you. <gasps> Wait, there's no way that's gonna happen. Stop with the tasteless jokes. By the way, what does the chain on the far back door in Grape Tower mean? It was probably wrapped there by the killer to keep us as far from Strawberry Tower as possible. <laughs> Why? Because of that chain. You guys thought you couldn't enter there, right? Yeah. That's right. <laughs> like you said, I could probably use these parts to repair the button, but seriously, hold on. Even if you do repair the button, what's gonna happen to the chain on the other side of the door? Chain. The door that at least the strawberry hall has a chain wrapped around the doorknob. Even if you fix the button on the strawberry hall side, the door won't open as long as that chain is there. You don't need to worry about that at all. Hmm? The killer destroyed the Strawberry Hall button, so we'd stay away from Strawberry Tower. Everything was done to tamper with the evidence, so we wouldn't find out about the secret of the Funhouse. The appearance of a body in the tower would contradict what we thought we knew about the building. In that situation, if we'd gone to Strawberry Tower, we'd have seen that contradiction firsthand. And using that as a clue, we might have discovered the truth. The truth that the two houses and the two towers are actually one complete vertical building. <clears throat> the killer wanted to keep us from learning that. That's why they made us stay away from Strawberry Tower. They destroyed the button and wrapped a chain around the door just for that? Would it really have inked the killer if we learned the true structure of the building? It would have been a major inconvenience. After all, this funhouse is strongly connected to the ultimate weapon that killed Nekomaru. Hold on. You're progressing much too quickly. There's still a contradiction concerning the building structure. What a pain. It's fine already. Gundam, please proceed. Alright. So, alright. So, I've already... I've already established in my brain that Gundam is the person who did it, and my reasons sound just to me. But the fact that Sonya is backing him up, like, I want to slap her. You know what I mean? Like, she's basically, she's basically, not only is she making Kazuichi feel bad, I mean, Kazuichi ain't necessarily my favorite, he can already, uh, uh, basically said I'm a goddamn traitor and I'm not. But... The way she's blowing him off, like, I don't, I don't appreciate this, siding with a killer, nonetheless. Like, Sonya, you definitely, like, on my radar, for real, like, I hope you're next. Like, that, uh, I said earlier that Strawberry House and Grape House are connected vertically, right? Mm -hmm. If so, how does the contact elevator supposedly transport us from one house to the other? It spins. Nagito said that, I think. Nagito said that. 
Nagito said it spins. Nagito said it spins. That elevator moves vertically. Then, when your back is facing the Nagito said it spins. Power should be on the Nagito stage. and Chiaki said it spins. It spins 180 degrees, right? What? Does this reflect reality? Inside Grape House, Grape Hall is on your right when your back is to the elevator. And inside Strawberry House, Strawberry Hall is on your left when your back is to the elevator. Which means, the houses are on exact opposite sides of the tower. Answer me, fiend! What does this mean? What does this mean? Look at her following ass. What does this mean? If the two houses are connected vertically, the position of the tower should be the same in both houses. But in fact, when my back was facing the elevator in Grand House, the tower was on my right. When my back was facing the elevator in Strawberry House, the tower was on my left. How can I break through this contradiction? Dude! Nagito and Chiaki both said this. Let me look at my shit. Let me look at my shit. Let me look at my shit. Wait. What all do I have? The two houses are connected vertically. Okay. Contact the elevator. elevator should move as of each broken door knob. I don't think so. Connie's account. Apparently, a Connie, kind of, no, that has nothing to do with it. Uh, broken door knob. No, vertically, not horizontally. Strange feeling and power. However, at both Nagito, Nagito's sudden appearance. Let's look at that. Nagito was supposed to be a strawberry house, but he appeared in a great house via some unknown method. The contact elevator should have been broken. Mm. I don't think that has to do with it either. Let's look at Kazuichi's account. Apparently, the compass's needle spun off. This is it. 180 degrees while he was inside the elevator. Dude, Nagi, look, hold on. Who said it? Nagi told me. This. If the contact elevator is behind this, you. That's what he said. The towers are in different directions. Because remember Kazuichi? Not Kazuichi. Uh, it's clearly contradictory. And she's following this jackass. What's with this iron curtain of teamwork? Wow! Making Kazuichi feel bad. They have matching arguments, but don't make sense. I mean, they're both the dumbest, so I guess two two peas in a pod, I guess. But if the two houses are connected vertically, Kazuichi, the elevator should move. It's what 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 uh Naruto did. Not horizontally. No, that's wrong. Whoa, whoa! Did you hear that? It didn't make a sound. That's weird. Did you hear that? Damn, did you hear that? It didn't, it didn't say boom, like, what the fuck was that about? Did the game glitch? Isn't that right, Kazuichi? Huh? Me? Hey, come on, you used the elevator while you were holding that compass Nagito gave you. Right. Oh, that. Yeah. It was pretty strange. From start to finish, somehow the compass needle rotated 180 degrees. Rotated 180 degrees? Meaning, as the elevator moved between the two houses, it also rotated 180 degrees. Oh, Luke, yo, did you see what they just did? How they rotated her pitch high picture? That was clean. I like that. It was probably following the building's perimeter as it rotated to the other side. Damn, you see that? That's clean.
Which means the exit would be on the opposite side once you arrived at the other house, right? And thanks to that, the tower we saw on our right side when we arrived at Grape House appeared on our left side when we house. An elevator that rotates while it moves. Is that even possible? It's like something from an amusement park. I mean, we weren't too far from an amusement park, my boy. Well, a fun house is an amusement Bye. house is an amusement Bye. park attraction, you know. And since the building doesn't really need to be structurally practical, it makes for some splendid fun. That's not splendid at all. You're inhuman. You say I'm inhuman, but I'm just a bear. So I was never human to begin with. I'm different from these lowly humans. So we're done with the secret of the funhouse, right? Then let's start talking about the important stuff. What's the ultimate weapon that killed Nekomaru? And how'd they combine it with the pillar? Huh? You still don't know what the ultimate <laughs> weapon is yet? It's what I found in the octagon, me. you know? What is the octagon? I haven't heard about that yet. Oh my... I can't believe I have to... Damn, he's so mad! As long as you Jesus, know what that means, you can solve this simple mystery easily. What's an octagon? A goddamn ace on the sheet! I see! If I recall, an octagon is a shape with eight sides, right? But there's nothing that has eight sides that we know of! I didn't expect you to know that. For a substitute reserve course student, it's knowledgeable. Quit snitching! I guess I should continue listening. Where is the place befitting of the name Octagon? Huh? Nah. It's not gonna be the damn, um... The spot selection, is it? I don't know. Can I rotate it? Can I move? Can't move. Okay, so look, remember, okay, so they're saying, what was the octagon? Like, it's like, I felt like it was right here, because we saw this, right? We saw this, and, and, um, I feel like this is where we were, like, right here. Right here. That's what I think. I'm not sure. Fuck, I got fuck. Here. <gasps> You're talking about the secret room surrounded by concrete in the depth Cause of look, the bedroom. Right! Look, hold on, wait. Surrounded by concrete. Right! Cause like that's why I, I picked that. Cause it's like we saw a hexagon, but we saw a quadrilateral, like Right there, you know, like right in the same room. So like, it couldn't have been nothing else. And then it's like I felt that, but I, I, I honestly feel like I got lucky. But that's what I felt. Why is that place the octagon? You know how the four-sided strawberry house is on top of the six-sided grape house? Hmm. If you cut a four-sided shape out of a six-sided one. You oh shit! See, look, I was trying to turn. Wow. So look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It was sticking out. You gotta be fucking kidding me with this. You see this, dude? What? Who would have thought of that? You know what? The only reason why I said it. Was that I feel like Damn, that's crazy. Cause now that I'm thinking about it, what I just said doesn't even make any sense. It's just that And it's crazy because like the diagram that they showed beforehand where the elevator they were showing the elevator spinning, the pink kinda was poking out a little bit. And I was looking like, hmm, that's weird. But it's not poking out as much as it is in this diagram, but damn, that's weird. The only reason why I said that was because 
I said it because we saw the hexagon and we saw the quadrilateral, and I figured it was somewhere in between. And it's like we saw like it, it could have been nowhere but here, like here, like right where like the, the the circle. I mean, not the not the circle, the hexagon, like the base of it. There, it can only be there because we saw the first. We were on the first floor of of um, Grave Tower. And if he went down, he would have been on the third floor of, of, of uh, we were on the first floor on Strawberry Tower. And if he went down, he would have been on the third floor of Great Tower, which meant we were above the Great, I mean, we were above, um, goddamn, the third floor of Great Tower. So we were like on the, so, so to speak, I guess, I don't know. I don't know. That's basically the gist of That's it. That's crazy. Not feel like I got. I truly got lucky there. See, look. Secret room in the depths of the final dead room. Right here. This is what I'm saying. It, okay, so I was right. In actuality, that place contained various weapons. Cause look, and you see the hexagon, but you can clearly see a quadrilateral room right there. So I was like, it's this. You know what I mean? Somewhere where a. a was there too? That's a little different. I learned the true identity of the ultimate weapon at the Octagon. Learned? The true identity of the ultimate weapon is the Funhouse. What? Which means the killer used the building structure as their weapon and killed Nekomaru. What? How is it the ultimate weapon? The killer probably realized the secret of the Funhouse <sighs> from the scenery, and then thought of a way to kill making use of the building structure. How the fuck would you do that? The fun house itself is the weapon. So they killed using the building structure? That's why the killer tried to keep us from learning the mystery of the building. But more importantly, using the building itself as a weapon? Such a spectacular crime. <laughs> it truly deserves to be called the ultimate weapon. Funhouse is the true identity of the ultimate weapon. Never thought it would have been this. What does this mean, though? How did the killer use that to murder Nekomaru? And who is the killer who did that? Oh, look at the bookie. Mm. Oh, shit! Suspended already? Damn! Yo. Hiya! Hey, why, hello there. I thought of a new bad word to call Monami. I can already tell it won't, I won't be pleased by this. And let me say it right away. I'm already used, I'm already used to insults and saying that there's no way I'll get hurt by a mere word. Monami is a mysterious, stew fatly. That's much more straightforward than I expected. Stew fatly, huh? Tiss, tiss, tiss. That's not it. That's not it at all. Stupid, fat, ugly. The perfect George stream attack incorporating all three of these would be ta da Stufatly. Huh? There's a fat hidden in there. Everyone, okay, all you know. together now. Monami is a serious Stufatly. Oh my god, it's voiced. Wow. I am done. I am done. Yes, sir. Hello. I hope your day is well. I'm trying to force myself to be more energetic, or else my mental state won't be able to keep up. Ugh, my heart's thumping like crazy. I might as well have a laid-back, so what attitude and go ahead with high energy. Yeehaw! Ah, but be careful that your batteries don't run out. For various reasons. And just like I say each time, don't forget to save frequently. Don't forget to save regularly. <laughs> she hasn't said that uh, anymore. <laughs> regularly. <laughs> I, I never expected the funhouse itself to be the ultimate weapon. Me neither. 
mean, I knew Nagito was going crazy when he looked out that window, but goddamn. Oh, let's just press on ahead. Damn, what? Is it really alright to accept a situation so easily? I mean, that's not what's important. The thing that's really important is... How Mekumaru was killed. The killer who used the building structure. Like, who's Mekumaru's murderer? I mean, how the fuck did they do it? I mean... <laughs> I feel like I know who it is, but I don't know how they did it. But is it really okay to believe the building is the weapon? Nagito said it, you know. Nagito lying, you know. There's no way I'd lie at such an important moment. I don't want to die either. <laughs> I don't want to die either. What happened to them dying? Ooh, ooh. He's right. There was a time that I could become a stepping stone for your hopes, but I will sincerely retract that remark. What? Retract? I'm disappointed too, you know. If this was a murder for the sake of hope, I'd happily sacrifice myself. <laughs> you say such falsehoods per usual. Shut up, Dumbo. You're suspect number one. There is no such thing as murder for the sake of hope. Murder is simply murder. Forcibly sacrificing others for one's own desires. Even one as diabolical as I would avoid such actions. I don't believe that. I truly don't. I see. You see how he just said, I see. Like, like, he ain't fucking believe that. Like, there was no heart in that. Nagito, I, I truly believe Nagito knows. That Gundam is the killer. What he just said, right there, right there, right fucking there. It's fine. Motherfucker said, "Just leave him alone. See. And find out who killed Coach Nekomaru as fast as we can." Bruh, I think Nagito is feeling the same way I am. That motherfucker next to Akane did it. Just so you know, it's not like I'm getting hungry or anything. You know. Oh lord. Uh, Akane, you are drooling waterfalls. I guess, uh, as usual, I can't tell what he's, what he's thinking. I have no idea if he's serious or Anyway, not. if the killer used the building structure, why don't we think about how they used it? How they killed Nekomaru. It might be better if we clarify the cause of death first, don't you think? I mean, it was the pillar. I mean, true enough, Akane ain't, like, right about everything, but it's gotta be the pillar. Nekomaru's cause of death, huh? It was horrible. Horribly damaged, as if he was beaten, beaten senseless with a blunt object. But if he was beaten with a blunt object, it wouldn't be a kill that utilized the building structure. So what was Nekomaru's cause of death that also used the building structure? Beaten by a blunt object? No. Dead battery? No. Crushed by the elevator? No. Wait, ooh. Ooh! But if he was crushed by the elevator... But the ceiling! They never said I couldn't see the ceiling, so... It would have to be falling. Let's see. That's it? I think he might have died from falling. How? Died from falling? If the Funhouse's secret is that it's a structure where both towers and houses are vertically connected... What? Then the killer made use of its height and caused Nekomaru to die from falling. Oh, that's fucked up. What? How? Are you saying they pushed him off? Where'd they push him off from? That, I don't know yet. <laughs> don't just make things up when you don't know the method. Oh, shut the fuck up. We all know it's you. Well, I don't know it's you, but me and Nagito know it's you. Son of a Bitch. Where in that building would you even be able to push someone off in the first place? It might be possible in the tower. You could push him off the fourth floor when the elevator is on the first floor. I was thinking that, Akane. I don't know about it, but that's what I was thinking. Did you forget how the elevator functions? All right, the remember? Floor, the door no. on the fourth floor won't open. Mm. <laughs> Saying he died from falling is truly incorrect. You should burn in the flames of hell. So this is the second time he has uh, denied a correct answer. I mean, I mean, come on now. Come on now. I, al 
already know. I, I, I said I don't like this person. He said he's in the same book as Hioko. But the fact that you denied two of my right answers, you're not, you're up out of here. You're, you're literally up out of here. Hmm. But my gut is going crazy right now. Oh, I believe you, Akane. If Nekamaru died from falling, where did the killer show Nekamaru from? If I'm gonna reach the truth, shout out to Persona 4. Behind this incident, I need to solve that mystery next. So here's what I'm thinking that the good night button, the first thing that popped up, yo, it's gotta be the good night button. Because wait, let's see. When the elevator let's see. is on the first floor, you can't go through the door on the fourth floor. Huh. It'd be impossible to shove off the victim from up there. Then how about this? Ah. After locking Mekamaru inside the elevator, okay. they moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor and made use of the drop. My God, Chiaki. Oh, forget the elevator has a sensor? Uh. As long as there's a moving object inside. <sighs> the Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. Look, look, look. A button on the back of his neck, right? When this button is pressed, all functions cease and he is forced to enter sleep mode. So like, what if because he entered sleep mode, he was super still, so the elevator couldn't sense him? It's gotta be that. It's gotta be that. Which means come on, come on, come on, come on. 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 That's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. It's on the first floor. It couldn't sense him. The sensors couldn't sense him. And he's super still like that, right? from up there. Then, how about this? Hmm. After locking Mecham, they moved the elevator and made use of the drop. Hold on! Did you forget the elevator has a sensor? Mm -hmm. As long as there's a moving object inside, the other door won't open. Ah! Uh, the damn white noise, dude. Fuck. When the elevator is off, you can't go through the door. It'd be impossible. Then, after locking the, they move the elevator and they. Come on, did you? As long as there's a moving object inside. Let's no, go! We in there. That sensor should only work if something is moving. <laughs> if Nekomaru wasn't moving inside, the elevator sensor wouldn't have detected anything. <laughs> Could it be his sleep mode? When Nekomaru's goodnight button is pressed, all of his functions shut down, and he enters sleep mode. If he's in sleep mode, the elevator sensor wouldn't have noticed him, right? Right. I see. So that's how... However, even if they moved in that manner, Nekomaru would have just moved along with it. There would have been no drop for him to fall and die from, yes? That's what I was about to explain before Kazuichi interrupted me. Damn. Silence, pest! Whoa! Now you're calling me a pest? Oh my god. A way to create the drop inside the elevator. My neck is still in it. Chucky seems to have an idea, but what way could that be? And you know what I'm thinking about now? Push the square button. Push the square button. Push the square button. Nekomaru's body and left leg were tied to a metal wire. The tip of that wire was also tied into a... If you arrange it a certain... What else do I have? Way. You can cause the drop within the elevator. Or on a floor. So you're telling us all killer. to think about the arrangement, right? That arrangement is broken door knob and wire. Delicious. Isn't it about time we went over the pillar again? What about the oil on the floor? found under the tip over pillar. Screws at the base were pulled out. There were some scratch marks on the knob itself. 
one of the door knobs from the far back door. It has scratches on it. So, can I straight up say that maybe, just maybe, that this wire Cause like Nekomaru's body and left leg were tied with a metal wire. The tip of that wire was also tied into a loop. What if the loop was on What if the loop Oh shit What if the loop was on the damn knob? That be. A doorknob found under. And you know what's crazy though? Like, maybe Nikamaru being so heavy, it pulled out the doorknob. I gotta feel like that's what it is. I, I gotta feel like that's what it is. Look, it's got scratches on it. Like, maybe. It was the wire. The wire on the doorknob. And remember, we found that broken doorknob. Bruh! My dude! Dude! Joe, it's him! It's so cold. It's. Oh. What if I start to enjoy it? Whoa. There's a bit there. How can you create a difference in elevation? The wire. And my boy Kazumichi. Not Kazumichi. My boy Fuyuhiko came in clutch! Oh shit! I'm about to- I'm about to- Bro, I kinda Nah. What about the oil on the floor? Ah. Uh -huh. The doorknob on the floor seems suspicious. I am great, my nigga! <laughs> Let's go! You see him smiling? <laughs> I like that, bro. I like the agree shit. I like it. I was having a tr I was having trouble with it at first, but I fuck with it now. That might have been where it got scraped by the wire. Exactly! Cause like they said that everything else was tied, but there was a loop. The loop was what it have been. By doing that, they created a drop so Nekamaro could fall to his death. Easy. Oh! What the There's no way you can make him fall and die with just that. <laughs> Why? If Nekomaru is suspended in midair like that, then how do you get him to fall? Because if he's suspended in midair, he won't die if he doesn't actually fall. Even if they suspended Nekomaru from a- How would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push- There's no way they could do that! It doesn't mean someone had to push him off. <laughs> it's possible that he fell on his own. What? Nekomaru fell on his own? Nekomaru should have still been in sleep mode, right? Allow me to cut through those words! <laughs> What do you think would happen if Nekomaru woke up while he was suspended upside down in midair? Hey, like he would do what anybody else would. Freak the fuck out. What are you saying? How would he even wake up? He has an alarm inside his body. As long as it was armed, it would have deactivated yep. the sleep mode. He said that. Which means the killer set the alarm before they suspended Nekomaru. Damn, so are you telling me that they used that to kill him? They used his alarm as him. Oh, that's so fucking sad. If you woke up from an alarm and realized you were hanging upside down and had no clue why, you freak something out. Something like that happened to you. You would right. be panicking a lot, right? You freak out. Instinctively, your body would start moving. Mekamaru probably did exactly that. Um. 
And then, in order to make him fall from the force he was generating, the wire was hung on the tip of the doorknob so it would easily slip off. In actuality, the scrape marks caused by the wire were near the tip of the doorknob, right? Right. But Nekomaru didn't fall because the wire came off, right? <laughs> he fell because the entire doorknob came off. <laughs> when Nekomaru awoke, he must have struggled much more than expected, which caused the doorknob to break off. Was that unexpected for the killer too? Well, that's probably it. If they knew it'd leave behind evidence like that, they would have at least tried to do something to cover it up. The killer didn't expect the doorknob to come off. The reason... Oh my god. The reason that even happened was because... In that case, remember... Oh my god, yeah! The fierce war Nekamaru put all his power into grabbing the doorknob with both hands. So you're telling me that what he did while we was alive is gonna help us find who killed him. If that's not poetic justice, I don't know what is. Here it comes, the incredible strength of one million horsepower. Isn't it creaking? If you break out the door now, we'll be stuck in it. That's really what it was. And that's the clue Nekomaru left for us to find. So that's how Nekomaru... Damn. Do you finally understand now? Yeah, it appears it's just as Miss Sonia said. I'm just a pest. No, Whoa. I'm not just a pest. Whoa. I'm a total fucking pig. Oh, dude, calm down. Isn't that right, Miss Sonia? If I'm a fucking pig, you can say so. No, I believe you gave your all. Hey, why aren't you teasing me anymore? This guy, he gets off on this. I've been tricky on a Friday night yet. It's off on this. <laughs> so thanks for that alarm. Wow. Gomaru ended up falling while he was still hanging upside down. That doesn't mean he just crashed straight into the floor. Of course, you know that too, right? Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and end the episode out here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. With the tail and I'll catch you guys later, and when we come back, we will proceed with the case. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, but until then I'll catch you guys later for more. Down my rubber too, goodbye despair.